Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm bringing you a rather smartly and freshly valeted Mercedes uh, C250 uh, uh, diesel. It's the Elegance model. Now I've left the um, bonnet ajar here so we can have a little look under here. I'm going to try and open this up with the one hand. Uh, looks like a massive engine but actually it is a um, C250 turbo diesel engine. It's very clean under the bonnet. It's gleaming under here. Um, the car has come to us in a very clean condition. The gentleman's very kind enough to have the car valeted uh, prior to trading it in against one of our classics. He took a, a lovely BMW off us um, to trade this one in. Now the gentleman was in the armed services and he actually used the car to drive from where he lived down in Cornwall up to a um, one of the military places on the A303 uh, and he wanted a, an economical car that was comfortable and safe so I think he chose well with a Mercedes C-Class it's from the year um, the late uh, 2011 uh, it's done 145,000 miles um, being an elegance model it has things like air conditioning and parking sensors uh, front and rear um, Air conditioning, I know it works very well, that's been tested. Uh, the usual um, high spec of tinted glass and alloy wheels. Um, while I'm talking about alloy wheels, this has got a set of um, optional extra uh, AMG, they're genuine, and they have been refurbished in fairly recent times at great cost. Um, so they look really smart. Um, We'll have a look inside and we can have a look around the specification in there a little later. But the car itself does present very nicely in white, especially with those dark tinted windows. It looks really smart. Um, I will walk around the car and point out any imperfections. So let's start in this back corner. So this rear wing looks very straight. Sorry, it's a bit wet today, but uh, despite me just taking the car out of the business unit to show you, it's got a little bit wet, but um, this back half of the car looks to be in good condition, as does this driver's, uh, sorry, passenger side rear door. Very down low, it's got a little scratch down there, but I have to get down on my knees virtually to see it. Passenger side door looks good. It's a couple of small, probably mark dents, um, I'm sorry, more like scratches. I want my polish out, actually. Um, nothing major. A good front wing. The glass is, um, mirror is in good shape front wing is nice there's some low level scuff here down on the front here and here but again I'm getting very close with 145,000 miles you're going to have some stone chips and then this car does have a few stone chips nothing terrible to be fair I've we have seen a lot worse actually that was a fly we forgive that one um, so it does look very sharp through the front these low level lamps look really cool and in fact I'm not sure if this is um, a standard front bumper or just the sportier version, but it does look really good. And I think I mentioned it is an elegance model. But what I did notice when the gentleman drove it from Paul uh, to us in Hampshire, it was averaging 53 miles to the gallon, which I thought was rather impressive. He says he always gets at least 50. Um, there's a little mark here on the door, but other than that, that looks pretty good down this side of the car no sunroof but air conditioning that all looks pretty good and I have noticed that actually on the back bumper which is quite common these cars it's got a series of marks where stuff has probably been dragged in and out the boot a little uh, that all looks quite good there's a little cover that sits over there um, yeah very nice from the back end let me just open up the front that looks very nice and clean I think you get a real wheel with these yeah so it's a space saver and there's the tools to take the um, uh, the jack and that fits under there and it's a decent sized boot being a c-class uh, and the little side areas here uh, and of course being a Mercedes they always like a morning triangle um, a good spec includes things like satellite navigation factory fitted um, it's very good condition the rear seats I don't think they've had a lot of uh, usage um, now even though I think Mercedes and 
car manufacturers talk about leather trim. The truth of the matter is, this leather trim, I think MB, um, Mercedes always called it MB Tex. It's a texture which looks very much like leather, or in fact, I'm almost positive it's a man made. But for all intents and purposes, that looks like the modern leather seats. Um, fitted carpets, nice and smart through the door cards. And being an elegance model, can you see the little bits of wood trim uh, which do act, act um, do add to the sort of prestigiousness of a Mercedes? Um, a four spoke multifunction steering wheel. This is the, the screen, uh, this is the knob that works it. Um, you get little cubby holes, of course, you have to have the obligatory cup holders, and a little here, yeah, there's a, a power socket in there. And this is the control to the radio, navigation, etc. Um, nice in here. I've noticed it's got a little wire there, so perhaps it either had one of those, um, uh, I think it's a, uh, a mounted camera. So it's wired for one of those, which is handy. Um, it also does have uh, its dealer folder, and it does have uh, an array of receipts and a spare key. So a uh, nice bit of paperwork with the car. Of course, of this era of car, it's all electronic servicing, so they don't stamp a service book like used to in the old days. Um, I'm gonna have a walk around the other side of the car. I've actually driven this car myself as soon as it came in, and I can vouch for it driving very nicely. Um, they're pretty uh, robust, these uh, C-Class Mercedes. Uh, the mileage the car has got on it is probably testament to the fact that they do do a few miles. and. Here we are inside looking pretty nice as well. So this is the car inside and outside. Oh, and um, I hope that's given you everything you need to know about the video. Thank you very much, folks. Bye now.